Let's look at this. You're telling me that one, it's fiscally responsible to not cap these EFMAs? That's, that's You don't tell me you're going to get qualified help. You're not going to get qualified help, are you? No, it's not an opinion. It's fact. Well, well that, and that's fine. But you ask me, you ask me what I thought about something, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I thought, what I'm thinking. You ask me, and it's honest. What I'm telling you is, this bill is bad for democracy. It's bad for Michigan, and it's bad for the people. Take collective bargaining. I'll, I'll fold on collective bargaining thing. But you're talking about ripping away the democratic voice of the people, Republican or Democrat? Because I'll tell you what, there's more emergency financial managers that will be called in to run the UP. And uh, last time I checked, most of those county commissioners are Republican. The legislation is designed uh, no, the, the the legislation legislation to actually prevent bringing emergency managers in, give them more options to, really? the community, yeah, to allow the communities to make some decisions, get some early warning systems in place right. they don't need. All right, all right, all right. Look, the other thing to think about is if you let a financial crisis go too long, right, you end up with a bankruptcy situation. You're not going to get and an argument with me on that. Well, then you you, the because bank. Public Act 312 has the financial... It's a financial manager thing. Somebody can come in and make these cuts, but they have to be held accountable. Now what you guys did is allowed one person to have omnipotent powers over something, and then you fiscally responsible, irresponsible conservatives wish to sit there and not cap these people's pay? No, don't give me this, Ari. Let's talk man to man. Quit giving me the bullshit. Hey, you have your position in your opinion. No, I'm the position of the people. Let's quit talking bullshit and talk real. Keep calm. Oh, I'm calm, buddy. I'm speaking for three million people right now who you guys just screwed. Okay. Well, the legislature speaks for the people. They're elected. To no, you didn't. Them. No, you didn't. Well, the legislature. You did not speak for the people. I'm not allowed to speak now, so. That's fine. I appreciate it. That's fine. All right, you know, it. I respect your point of view. I respect But I tell you words. what, I'm, the line in the sand is drawn between the people and your administration. That's your opinion, and you're no. It's welcome. fact. You're welcome to it's share. It's fact. Your Ari, do you think the people of Michigan who voted for um, for you your people up? knew that this is what they were going to get? Do you think I'm that sorry, they were up? Starting when your candidates ran for office last fall, do you think they were upfront and honest about all the things that they were planning on running through, like the emergency financial managers? I think a lot of people who were elected into office were elected on the idea that there needed to be some change, that there needed to be some tough decisions made because people need to make some decisions about the fiscal problems that we're facing in the state. Putting tax. That's I think what they. Were but the AARP was here today because it shifts the tax burden onto the elderly and the people who are poor in order to give tax cuts to corporations. Do you think people well, knew they were voting for that? That's their opinion, and when the governor proposed his plan, that we've now seen and is now in the House of Representatives as a, as a tax bill, tax plan put in as a bill, it's going through the committee hearings. People are welcome to come and give their opinion, share their opinions with their, le with their uh, elected representatives, and then a decision will be made. No decision has been made on that tax plan or any of the budget proposal at this point. All right, hold on. I got a question. All right, I just want to make sure that you say that, that we can meet with our legislative officials. We tried to do that three weeks ago. You're telling me that you're Republican. You can make the word that your Republican legislatures will stay, legislators will stay in their office when our people come to talk to them instead of running out the back door. Make that promise. No, Ari, make that promise. No, I, you're from the speaker of the house. No, wait, sure I you can. Sure you can. You speak for the speaker. You can do whatever what you I, want. What I, can tell I know how the rules work, Ari. You can do what you want. Tell me, please. Make that commitment that your that your representatives will meet with their people. Don't tell me that they have the right to do that. They're elected by the people to hear from the people. I've watched them run out the back door three weeks in a row when we come to talk to them. As as your as your, a lot of your representatives and whatnot, tell them to man up. Just be in their office for us, please. We want to come talk. We want to negotiate. That's something you guys don't know what to do at this yeah. minute, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. There are a number of different ways that people can reach out to their representatives and let them know what their opinions yeah, on anything. And they don't work, Ari. Point. They don't let work. Me finish. They, I will. They do work. I think when representatives hear from the people who elected them about how they feel on an issue, I think that does impact votes. Really? So that's why. That's why this issue, passed. That's why this passed. When they have an opinion on an issue, people should contact their representatives or their senators and, and the governor and let them know how they feel. And I wholeheartedly and then agree. we will work through the democratic process of holding votes in the House and the Senate, and it will go to the governor. Yeah. If it's approved by the House and it's approved by the Senate and it's signed by the governor, then it becomes law. There is a process in place, and people are welcome to take part in that. And, 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 and you're exactly right. People have to do that. But what I'm getting at is when these people decide to call their representative and show up at their office, at least have these representatives have the decency to earn their paycheck and meet with these people.
Well, no, no, it, you, no, you, it is within your power. Trust me, you're in the speaker's office. Speaker Bishop could do whatever he wants. He has control of the state House of Representatives. Republicans and Democrats it is in their rules. Don't tell me that I'm lying here because that is the rules. I'm not suggesting Every, that at all. Everything has to go through the speaker's <laughs> office to get confirmed. It's your office. You can make sure that your representatives are there to meet with the people. That's all we're asking. That is all we are asking is fair shake at representation. And I'm sorry, Ari, you know, I respect you. I appreciate the job you do. But our views are different on this. And bottom line is, I'm not going to let you guys destroy democracy. The line is drawn in the sand. I have to go. Officers are closing, so I've got to go. I appreciate that. Thank you, Ari. We'll, we'll see us each other along the way. Do you think that the people expected this? When they voted for you, sir. Thank you.